scaly silver swimmers are delightful for Sardines. Catching to cooking. Frozen fish fingers that we buy from the shops usually have cod or haddock in them. These fish usually come from deep water far out in the Atlantic Ocean. They are caught by fishing trawlers that are much bigger than Sam's. But sardines swim much closer to shore, and so a smaller boat like Sam's can be used to catch them. This kind of fishing is called inshore fishing, using smaller nets which are much better for our environment, because it stops something called overfishing. Overfishing is where we take too many fish out of the sea, leaving nothing left to catch the next day. Did you know it's really easy to make your own fish fingers using fresh sardines like the ones that Sam catches? You'll need the following ingredients to make eight sardine fish fingers. One egg, 85 grams of breadcrumbs made from day-old bread, four fresh sardines. You can buy fresh sardines whole. You could cut the fish into fillets yourself at home with the help of an adult. But if you don't want to do this yourself, you can ask the fishmonger to do it for you. Once you have your fillets, heat the oven. Next, you need to crack the egg into a shallow dish and whisk it up. Then, get a baking tray and grease it. Or, you could use grease-proof paper. Dip the fish fillets into the egg. Then roll them in the breadcrumbs. Now dip it in the egg again and back into the breadcrumbs. Then, put it on the baking sheet. When you've dipped all eight of your fillets, put them in the oven and bake for 15 to 20 minutes. They are cooked when the crumbs have gone golden brown. When they are ready, try them in a sandwich with some lovely green salad.